Now let's look into the first technique under non-probability sampling, which is convenience sampling. So convenience sampling is a non-probability sampling technique in which samples are selected based on their availability and accessibility to the researcher. And here is your researcher and these are your uh, point these are your elements of interest and these are your respondents okay which are part of your survey now this researcher is looking for the respondents uh, based on his convenience you see that the circle which is uh, 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 which is uh, uh, zooming and zooming out so that one is is convenience area so whoever falls under his area he will be uh, doing the he will be sampling them or else they will be left out you see that all these people were left out only this one he has chosen to survey this is what we call as a convenient sampling so in this method the researcher selects individuals who are easily available to them or who are willing to participate in the study that's the main point so convenient sampling is easy to conduct can be done quickly and inexpensively but it may not be representative of the population and can introduce bias into the results so convenient sampling is used in exploratory research we have seen the different types of research under the quantitative research or qualitative research you will have sub research types one of them is exploratory research so it is used in exploratory research where the researcher is interested in getting an inexpensive approximate approximation. Then the sample is selected because they are convenient. You can see on the screen. And uh, it's a non-probability method as we known as we know that before only. So often used uh, during the preliminary research efforts to get an estimate without incurring the cost of cost or time required to select a random sample so now uh, let's take one example for this uh, so not convenient sampling so which comes under non probability so this is non probability sampling technique under which the first one is convenience which is convenience uh, convenience sampling so let's take one example suppose we have a researcher okay so researcher wants to investigate the attitudes attitudes of students towards online learn online learning during the covid 19 pandemic okay this is what the researcher wants to do now the researcher decides to survey students who are available and willing to participate in the study. That's what the requirement. So requirement for him is willing, available participants who are available and willing to join the research or survey. okay so now the researcher selects students from their own class and asks them to and asks them to complete a survey on their attitudes towards own learning that's it there ends the matter so he asked he asked the students from his own class 
and asked and asked them to complete a survey on their attitudes towards online learning so the sampling technique is convenient for the researcher as they are able to easily access students in their own class however this method may not be representative of the population of all students in the school or in the border community and the results may be biased towards the attitudes of students in the researcher's own class so in general in general convenient sampling can be useful in exploratory research or when conducting pilot studies but it is generally not recommended for obtaining representative samples of a population so it's important to be aware of the potential biases and limitations of this sampling technique and to interpret the results accordingly